pleased that you have taken the time to come and see us at Hackney Library to learn how we might help you. While we are always ready to help where we can, we often get busier as we get further into the semester. Plus, it's always best to familiarize yourself with the resources we have and to plan ahead. That way, you will have everything you need to be successful, and you will not be running around at the last minute trying to gather your materials. You can then spend more time analyzing and synthesizing the information and write a better paper. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me, but I don't have a particular project in mind right now. That's just fine. We can go over the general resources today, and then when you do have a specific topic, you will have an understanding of what we have, and then we can help you narrow your searching and be more efficient in finding your information. That's great. Now I was told that the collection is arranged by the Dewey call number, and that I could browse the shelves in the Dewey number range for the subject that I need. But what if I don't know the Dewey number? That is not a problem. A good idea is to find a particular book, and if that is in the subject area that you need, then you can look at the books around it. That makes sense, but how do I find a particular book? I'm glad you asked. All of the items in the library are cataloged in the online catalog. You can search the online catalog through the library's website. One of the most popular methods for searching the catalog is by keyword. However, that may not be the most efficient method, so you can also search by subject. If you know the author or title you need, you can search that way as well. Once you search your terms, you will receive a list of results, and each result will be for an item in the collection. When you look at a result record, you can find the location for which collection, whether or not the item is available, and finally the call number. Using the location and call number is how you can find the book on the shelf. Remember, we are always available to assist you at any time along the way, and if you have trouble finding the item on the shelf, we can help you look. Gee, that's swell. It's nice to know that I can do things on my own, but you are here if I need help. I was also told that paper journals are on the first floor of the library. Is this where I can find articles to help me? Well, yes, we do have paper journals here. However, that is only one of the places where you will find articles. We have many, many more journals in electronic format. Golly, that's a lot. How do I know if I need a paper magazine, a journal, or an electronic version? I'm glad you asked. We have a tool online that you can look up a journal title, and it will tell you if we have the journal, in what format, and if it's available electronically, you can see all the different methods of accessing it. However, the best way to find an article is to start with an index, and again, we have these in both paper and electronic formats, though most prefer electronic. The electronic format we often refer to as databases, because these not only index articles, but are also how we have a lot of full-text electronic journals. We have general databases as well as subject specific, and you can search these in a number of different ways. To keep you from being overwhelmed, we will keep those until you have a particular project in mind. For now, it's best that you know we have these different resources available and that we can help you select which resources are the best for you. Don't forget, all you have to do is ask. I won't. You know, I hear a lot of my friends saying that they find everything on the internet. Are they using databases? It's possible, but they may also be referring to web pages or other types of internet resources. Again, we have a way to help you find these types of resources as well, and we can also help you learn to evaluate them to find out if they're appropriate for your use. Our library web page is a good jumping off point. Really? How do I get to your web page? That's easy. Just point your browser to library.barton.edu. I'll also give you this bookmark that has all of our information as a reminder. Gee, thanks! Does that give you a good idea of what the library has to offer? Boy, does it ever. Thanks. But I just thought about something. I know the library has a lot of resources and a good number of books and journals, but what if I find that I need a book or article that the library doesn't have? Oh, I'm glad you asked. While we try to have as much as we can to help you, there are some items that we will miss. For this, we have Interlibrary Loan. We have agreements with libraries around the world that we can borrow materials from them for our patrons. If you happen to need something that we don't have, just let us know and we can help you fill out an Interlibrary Loan request. That's another reason why it's good to start early, because it does take a little time to get these items in for you. We usually recommend two weeks. 
Again, all you have to do is ask, is there anything else? I don't think so. You've been very helpful. I'm glad to do so. That's my job. I think you will find all of the library staff are ready to help at any time. We want you to be successful in your academic career here at Martin College. Please come back to see us often, and don't ever hesitate to ask questions. I will be back, and I will ask questions as well. I can't wait to get started on an actual project now that I know about the Hackney Library and how helpful everyone is. Thank you. The next day in class, assignments are handed out. Brad knows exactly what he needs to do to succeed. He plans in advance. He searches the library catalog to find the books he needs. After locating the particular title he needs, he also browses the shelves around that title. Brad finds other titles there as well, and checks all of these materials out. Brad talks with the reference librarians again to find which databases are best for him to use, and he finds a good number of articles. He even finds materials at other libraries, which the library gets for him through interlibrary loan. Brad is well prepared to do his assignment. The night before the assignment is to be turned in, Brad is ready to have a good night's sleep. But oh no! He has forgotten one thing. What will he do? Not to worry. Brad remembers that the library has 24-hour reference service available online through NC Notes. He can access this through the website. Phew, that was a close one, but Brad knew the library would not let him down. Brad took the time to visit the library and talk with the library staff to learn about the resources. He planned in advance and had all the materials he needed. It showed. The professor was pleased with his assignment, and Brad earned good marks. He is well on his way to a successful academic career at Barton College. When it comes to homework, don't worry or be sad. Be terrific and use the library like Brad. Visit the Hackney Library at Barton College and you will be well on your way.